Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I will be showing you how to make this epic looking steam train in Minecraft. If you are wondering how are these item frame maps made on the back of this steam train, well, I suggest checking out the tutorial that will pop up on your screen right now or check out the description. Other than that, I want to mention, if you want to check out the tutorial for the passenger trains that are behind the steam train, be sure to check out the description as well or click the eye on the screen right now. Alright guys, that's it, let's get started, good luck. So first of all, let's take a look at the materials we will use. We will use a bunch of stuff, stone bricks, stone brick stairs, block of coal, stone brick slab, grey stained clay, block of quartz, quartz slab, a lever, an anvil, also we will use a button, a map, you don't have to use this if you don't want to, item frame, grey stained glass, iron trapdoor, block of iron, leather, flower pot, a hooper hopper, redstone lamp, redstone torch, dark oak fence, you can use any other type of fence if you want that of course, and also we will use a sign. Right, now let's go ahead and get started. Here we will make the front of the, st of the train and here the back. So I'm going to start right here working on the back. I'm gonna place two full blocks right there, an upside down stair and two levers right there. Now jump away two blocks, one, two, press shift and add two coal blocks right there and right there. Now what you want to do is jump away four blocks, one, two, three, four, and add two coal blocks as well. And you're gonna add those here, two of course. Now what you want to do, place a stair, upside down, curve it, and curve it. I'm gonna do the same on the other side, upside down, stair, curve it, and curve it. What you want to do right now is take out your full block, place one there, place one there, and place one there. What you want to do right now is take out your stairs again and turn them like that, all the way going around this way. And it looks like this. Now you're gonna do the same on the other side. So your stair and curve it. Alright. Looks great. And this was actually the hardest part, so great that you can that you've managed to do that. Now of course we're going to continue. So what you want to do is grab your full blocks again. Place one stair here and here. Now one, two, three. I'm gonna do the same over here. One, two, three. Now we're gonna curve them like this. Same on the side, of course. We're almost there, guys. And like this. And you're gonna place full block temporary there. Let's see if we can fix this. Alright, here we go. So let's go ahead and do the same on the other side. Add a block right there. Um, make it curve. Alright. That looks amazing. Wait, I made a little mistake. No, okay, it's fine. Now, what we're gonna work on is the front section. Place a slab right there. And place a slab right there. And you're gonna take your full blocks again. Gonna fill this all up. And now you're gonna take your stairs, place them right there and right there. Okay, and this is how it should look at the moment. Now we're gonna add some small details. You're gonna take out your iron trap doors, 
and you're gonna take out your buttons. Place two iron triangles right there and right there. And actually, we should add a slab right there and a slab right there. Add an iron trap door, iron trap door, iron trap door, and here we go. We're gonna add some more buttons, and then the first layer is done. And that was the hardest layer, guys. Alright, look at this. Start of something incredible. Well, never mind, let's continue with the second layer. So let's continue with our second layer again. We're going to start here on the back. What you want to do is take out your grey wool, place one, two, three, four, five, six blocks like that. Take out your stairs, one right there and one right here. And now it's pretty easy. You're just going to place all slabs along um, until right about here. No, actually, remove this one. Um, place some extra ones right here, all the way up to here. Looks like this. You're gonna do the same on the other side. And here we go. What you wanna do now is take out your quartz blocks. From now on, it's very easy. Take out your quartz stairs. Place them in this direction. Gonna do the same on the other side. One, two, three. And four. What you want to do right now is take out your quartz blocks all the way up to about here. Yeah, something like that. And here we go. This layer is done already. So let's continue with the third layer. So take out two quartz blocks place them right there now take out your gray stain clay again one two three same on this side one two three um now you're gonna take out block of iron you're gonna place it right here at one two three four five six seven eight blocks of um clay and just do exactly the same on the other side all right now we're gonna detail this up a little bit already so what you want to do is take out um, iron bars and you're going to place them you could actually choose but I prefer having them about here one One, two, three, four, five, six, something about that. That looks good. Okay, you're gonna do the same on the other side. All right, remove one right here. Okay, now you're gonna take out letters and you're gonna place them right here like that what you want to do now is come back to the front here and add some extra blocks like that pretty easy right now you're able to add some anvils just like that very easy now here on the front what you want to need is a redstone torch and a redstone lamp look very nice in my opinion again you're going to use your iron bars and you're going to place them right there now let's continue working on the fourth layer so for the fourth layer what you want to do is 
grab your stairs again. From here, count to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And on the 7 block right here, you're gonna curve it. Do the same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Alright. Place the 4 block of quartz right there. Now, what you wanna do is come here, place a full block of quartz, and now you're going to curve your stairs. One, two, three, and four. And you're going to place two full blocks right there again. All right, and here we go. And, okay, apparently I made a small mistake, so we're gonna fix that. So you're gonna, Replace some blocks right here. Alrighty, and it is fixed already. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna add two blocks of quartz right there, and we're gonna add some clay in this kind of shape. Now let's start adding some details. I'm gonna add some iron trap doors right there and it is starting to look pretty cool in my opinion all right now let's just continue with the fifth layer let's continue you're gonna take out quartz lamp and a stair like that you're gonna take out your iron block again and you're gonna take out your Hooper, Hooper, Hopper, like that, and you're gonna place it on top of the iron block, just like that, fairly easy, right? And now with shift clicking, you're gonna place a upside down quartz there, and you're gonna take out your iron trapdoors again, one, two, three, and a slip, place a full block right there. That makes it easier to add a stair, and it looks like that. Fairly easy, I think. What you wanna do right now? Oh wait, let's go ahead and fix this first. So, full block, curved stair, like that. Right now, gonna add some more detail. Placing two slabs right there and right there. Now you're gonna take out your glass because we're gonna start working on the windows. And it is going to be one, two, three blocks. Same on this side, three blocks, just like this. Very easy, guys. Take out your quartz blocks like that. <clears throat> now take out your stairs and curve it. All the way around and here you're gonna have some slab blocks and to finish it off right here add an extra iron trapdoor and it is starting to look really nice in my opinion we're almost there so let's crack on so let's continue working on the windows right here gonna add a block here three blocks and four blocks long now right here you're gonna add an extra block you're gonna fill this up with four blocks of quartz and you're going to add a fence i'm going to use dark oak but you can use whatever you prefer now let's go to the front of the train again what you want to do is take out your flower pot and place it right about here now take out your slab and here we go this looks very nice and now let's finish this off what you want to do is take out your stone brick slabs again and we're gonna finish this cabin and then we're done we're gonna do some more detailing but that is about it for now what we're going to do to add some details is for example 
right about here we need a small footstep right here we're gonna place some item frames with the maps in it if you're thinking like what the hell does he mean with a map well I have a tutorial on how to make this it's not a mod it's in vanilla minecraft what you actually do is in an area of 128 by 128 blocks you design a map with normal minecraft blocks and that makes something like this and if you're like whoa that's very interesting well be sure to click that i right now on your screen where i give you guys a nice tutorial on how to use these maps there are a lot of possibilities involved so i would check that out now we're gonna add a button right there a button right there and that is actually about it what you want to do is you don't have to do it but i suggest doing so take out your signs and place them right here one two three and also one two three and actually if you really want to make it very realistic what you could even do in here you have a lot of space actually is let's give this guy a floor and a seat so let's use mm, birch wood stair and we're gonna have it right about here and it's hard to see but you can actually see quite well through it um and it looks absolutely amazing in my opinion i mean look at it you're gonna drive through a tunnel that is just epic all right guys there are two things more we are going to add we're gonna take out an item frame and we're gonna take out redstone block and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some lights and here we go guys you have just made yourself a train and it looks amazing and it didn't take that long right well as i've mentioned before if you want to book these passengers trains there is a link in the description and also there will pop a link on your screen right now if you want to make these passenger trains they look amazing as well but guys that was it for this tutorial i want to say thanks for watching keep following me on twitter and thanks for watching see you in the next one Bye-bye.